Join us as we travel from Brisbane to Adelaide via the mighty Darling River, a 1,400km stretch of river, but for us, the journey is over 2,200 kilometers. Welcome to Kunamala, Charlotte's Plains. We drove eight hours from Brisbane to here last night and I uh, got in about 11.30, it was pitch black, couldn't see a thing, but uh, we're here staying in the unpowered campsites right opposite the artesian bore, 40 degree hot springs with baths and pools for all the kids. Today we're going to make our way south through Burke and then on to Tilpa. We might stop at Tilpa at the pub for lunch, see how we're going for time. But probably tonight we're going to free camp at Tilpa Weir down by the Darling River. See you then. About three hours beyond Kunamala, we arrived at Burke and stopped for lunch at the Port of Burke Hotel. It was a pretty hot day, about 36 degrees, so it was a good opportunity to grab some lunch, a cold drink and let the girls have a play outside the car. How's your fizzies, girls? Good. Well, Good fizzy? Mm-hmm. Amazing. After lunch, we left Burke and made our way onto the Louth Road towards Trilby Station, our first stop for the night and our first day on the Darling River Run. It's a bit cold. <laughs> oh, it's nice <and> cold. <laughs> We took our time packing up in the morning, then made our way up to the station homestead for a swim in the pool. 
Are you guys gonna have a swim? I see a bumblebee. In. You like that? After eventually getting wet, we were then on our way to the infamous Tilpa pub. For the price of a small donation to the Royal Flying Doctors, you can write your name on the wall along with the thousands and thousands of others that have done before. Hey Luna. Hey Luna. Despite the warm weather, we wanted to try and sit outside on the banks of the Darling River. However, the flies were just a bit too much to try and eat and drink. Everyone's got their fly hats on. Yeah. Lily, where's your fly hat? Put it down. There you go. The flies are very annoying. Are they good now? You know. Is it good? The flies can't get you anymore. Yeah. And better, put it over your drink if you ever get one or something. With gold. I'll have another gold, please. We just rolled into camp in Menindi. We're down by Lake Pamamaru. We've unpacked, tents up, getting organized. The girls have just gone out to take some photos. And look at this incredible view. We really are lakeside. Free camp, down by the lake. Found it on wiki camps, makes it nice and easy, and we're this close. In fairness to the girls, this was the first bit of iPad they'd watched in about three days. And it was a great opportunity for us to start the fire and cook dinner. How's dinner, girls? Good. Delicious. Yeah. Hello world, wake me up to another good, good morning, time to go. Got that smile upon my face, cause there's excitement in the chase, this I know. Yeah, I'm going for the ride, and by myself I am alive, and I soar. Still I run to
Goats are abundant throughout the Darling River region. This was no exception. We were driving down the highway about an hour after camp and I spotted a goat stuck with its head in the fence. So we turned around and went back to help it out. Can you go more nuts? It is the happiest thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's head caught in the fence. Poor goat. There he goes. Happy fella. <laughs> Saving goats. Saving goats all across the countryside. Here we are, last night on the road as we head into Adelaide, we're at Lake Bonnie. We're staying at the caravan park tonight so the girls can get a swim, have a shower. We don't think we'll do any washing, but options there if we want it. We're right on the water. See the man. Let's see if we can have a look at some of his fish. In the days before our arrival, a huge carp death event happened in the lake. We never found out what caused it, but the lake was still safe for swimming. Carp are a pest, so whenever they're caught, they must be destroyed. They still make for a very interesting experience for the young girls. Take the hook out. <laughs> it's okay. So this is our last morning, we're at Lake Bonnie. We're gonna pack up after the girls have to play and head into Adelaide. Go sit down and pop, hang out there for a few days and then drive all the way home to Brisbane. Uh, the last trip, hopefully it will be fun, not boring. We might go through Manham today and then we'll go and see Nana Pop. Yeah. Another play in the playground and a swim in the pool and then we're in the car and on our way to lunch. In you go. As we watch the paddle steamers roll by, we reflected on the last four nights away and the drive between Brisbane and Adelaide. For us, Trilby Station was a highlight, as well as the free camp at Lake Pamamaroo just outside Menindi. Definitely a place to check out. Thanks for watching and please like and subscribe if you want to see more content.